they know the mix-ups. But I threw them in there. I'm like, that's not. He's not supposed to DI that way. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> 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 and then what were your other games? Uh, then I had to play Tyler Punk Panda. Um, I saw. He, oh, I saw that as well. Yeah, he used to. When I first started playing him, he used to be, "I'm gonna hit you, and then you're gonna die." Now it's, "I'm gonna hit you, and you're smart enough to smash the eye, and you're only gonna take like 70 <laughs> percent." So I've gotten a lot better. I was able to go toe to toe with him, sort of. Uh, I got two stock both games, and then in losers, I had to play Zeddy. Because he lost to Forest Fire. Yep, I I saw that. That was a that was disgusting. Yeah, that was weird. But... Fox and Falcon. Yeah, he gave me his Fox, and I went Cheek uh, game one because I'm so used to playing uh, so used to playing Howl. Please tell me you won. Uh, I got close. Oh! <laughs> and then I switched to Marth, and I took him to took him to Green Hill because he banned FD. And I always do that against Spacey's because it's still flat. Yeah. It's still completely flat, except for the rotating platform, as you see here. But, but yeah. Um, took him to the last stock, and then I got caught in a chain of up airs, and the rest is history. Oh, no. So. But, but upset of the day so far, Tismatic beat Helix. Yeah, I heard that, that pop-up. Yeah, that was... I thought... I thought Bluetooth did some crazy combo and I was watching the plasma screen and I see Hal walk in and be like, Tismatic beat the Helix! I'm like, oh. Damn, now, that's amazing. Now, Tismatic plays, um, uh, Falcon. He plays, does he? he? He plays Falcon, he plays DK, he plays a number of people. Uh, but he went Falcon in that game and yeah, apparently it was an offstage knee and he told me. It was soft knee to up B, is what yeah, I so, heard. Yeah, soft knee to up B. He told me he wanted to do a sex kick, and ooh, that's Pikmin being an ultimate bro right there. But yeah, he's like, I want to do the sex kick, but the only sex kick Falcon has off stage is a knee. And then he got the Charmin knee, as I call it, and then he went for the upbeat. The Charmin knee. It's too soft now. <laughs> I'm going to steal that. <laughs> yeah. Charmin <out>. knee. <laughs> Shout out to Limitless at Brackets and Bruce for coining that term. That's Falcon is ridiculous. Charmin me. That is actually... You know what? Samus... When Samus dies with the charge shot, mm -hmm. she doesn't get to keep it. No. When no. Ivysaur dies with the solar beam... He gets to keep he gets that. He to keep it. That's broken. That's definitely broken. Ooh. Nice edge guard. Oh. Uh, Zygo going out there. And Shed was actually here... He was spouting some theories mm -hmm. about Olimar in the current meta being better without Pikmin. Yeah, uh, Chevy really. Whenever there's an Olimar on the screen and he o and he commentates with me, it's always look at these guys fight. And he, he always he always associates Pikmin with their color and a character. Like the red ones are Roy's, the yellow ones are Pikachu's, white white ones I think are like Game and Watches or something. And like, it's really, he's an interesting person to commentate with. <laughs> yeah, he always, he always says something along the lines of like, oh, here goes Space Boy with all his followers. Yeah. Something like that. He's Look at these guys. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, using the purple Pikmin as a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, what moves actually use the Pikmin, other than throwing them? Uh, forward smash does, that's the one that just hucks them at him. Uh, side B, chucks him, chucks him forward, and then they run back. Um, down smash, splits, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, there's like the, the, yeah. the little blender. Yeah, split, yeah. And then... Up air, up air sends the one in front, I think. To like, point up and get you, but... And then fair and back air just like slap you with whatever Pikmin is in front, I think. But yeah. should we just bouncing around from side to side? Oh, but he loses that stock. One to one. I got bringing us back. This is this is potentially possible. Yeah. Oh, by taking a forward smash to the face. And uh, like grab could lead to a lot. That was a, that was a nice dash attack. Didn't really lead to much, but it was percent. Oh, yeah, yeah and then I see the knockback right there. I don't know who told me earlier, but Tether does knockback instead. Yeah. It's 
that's he's sitting at a, a dangerous 110 percent yeah yeah it's i think he's just trying to tag on pikmin to get some more percentage but Ooh, he's but, oh ooh. rocket is he gonna no nah. okay there we go game one going to chevy and a little pikmin scream right there yeah. <laughs> Have I, ever, have I ever told you the theory of like what Olimar tells his Pikmin in Smash? No, you haven't. Tell me. So, so me, me and my non-Smash friends were talking about this, and there was there was a week where I came back and Zygo beat Chevy, and I asked, and it was the first time I had ever heard of that because I always asked Chevy like, why don't you just take him to Battlefield or platforms and just missile camp? He's like, because when he throws Pikmin, that cancels the missiles. It doesn't go through the Pikmin. It just kills the Pikmin, and you don't hit Olimar. So when I told that to my friends, they were like, what if Almar told them, tells them, like, when you die, there are 72 virgins. <laughs> there are 72 virgins waiting for you in heaven. Pikmin. So die for me. Take this missile. Take this and then missile. as soon as they get to heaven, they're going to see everything. Oh, Captain Almar was right. And then he'll pull them out of the ground again. No, I need you back. I need you back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's actually, oh, okay. I actually but, really like that theory. Yeah. So that's why they're so eager to just be like, <clears throat> they go and take the missile to the face. You see the little ghost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get pulled out of the ground immediately. Yeah. Did Pikmin die? Did they really die? Yeah. What is the theory of Pikmin death? I don't know. Are they just seeds? I don't know they're, what they are. Plants, like they come out of the ground and. Yeah. Fun fact: I did buy Pikmin too when did I when I first started collecting video games, and it was scratched up. And I'm like, all right, it's scratched up. This, this should still work. I start a new game, and in the middle of the opening scene, when they just say, like, Captain Olimar and stuff, that, that's when it cuts out. Really? And so I took it back to Game Over Video Games. Shout out to them. I get a lot of my video games there. They didn't have another copy, so I ended up getting Metroid Prime. Oh. And that was a good choice. How long ago was this? This was about a year and a half ago, something like that. Have you, have you got Pikmin 2 now? No. No? Amazon, dude. Or do you want the case as well? I want the case. You want the case. Alright, that's like that's like a lot of melee on Amazon is just the disc. Yeah. They say disc and manual. Like, what happened to the case, dude? What did yeah. you do to the case? So we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Actually, I, from a young age, it annoys me so much how many people I knew would just put discs in like a, a disc binder. Oh, yeah. And throw away the case. the case. Like, what are you doing? I mean, that's what my brother used to do with music CDs, but that's music CDs. That's music like, CDs. I mean, you could have a, a million of those. And because the, the paper part comes out. Yeah, still. But I mean, cases, I guess the paper part also comes out, but it's a lot bigger. Yeah. And harder to store. It's why? Come on. Yeah. Anyway, as we went through some nostalgic video game collecting <laughs> and what you should and shouldn't do with your cases, Chevy's up two socks to one. Pretty convincingly, but... As game one has shown us, Zyger can bring us back with some nice Pikmin, Pikmin Stees. Sticks him with a white one. Yeah, two purples on right now. Yep. Hey, ooh, wow. That was a spaghetti right there. I've ever seen one. Oh, there we go. Two purples. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, Nair catching him. <laughs> and too high. Ooh. Just above the missile. Ooh. This is... This is close. Oh, he's got, he's got the grab. No! Up yeah. 2-0 for Chevy. Samus. Samus.